There's another repertoire that exists side by side this music, although there's quite a bit of overlap as well. Bernstein and Gershwin both made important contributions to it, along with many others. And that's the body of work that's often known as the Great American Songbook. This includes a lot of music that was originally from Broadway shows, often flop Broadway shows. <laughs> and also a lot of music that belongs to the repertoire of jazz and popular song and many others. As I mentioned, I am classically trained and I consider myself absolutely a jazz fraud. But here, if you'll indulge me, here are three songs from the Great American Songbook. The first is by a favorite son of my hometown, Buffalo, New York. That's Harold Arlen, who was in fact the son of a cantor. And it's a song that I think all of you will recognize. It probably doesn't need much more introduction than that. Then a song by Jerome Kern, one of the very earliest composers of the Great American Songbook, who was, in fact, something of a mentor to George Gershwin, when George Gershwin was a youth. This is a song called All the Things You Are, very well known by jazz lovers. And then, to bring us a little bit more into contemporary times, there's a composer who was one half of a very popular and famous duo making music in New York City in the 1960s. In fact, my grandfather knew this composer's father. His fa this composer's father was an upright bass player. And my grandfather was friends with him in Newark, New Jersey, probably in the 1940s, I would have to say. And uh, of course, this composer is the famous Paul Simon, and I'm going to play for you his solo work, Still Crazy After All These Years. So, hold your applause to the end of the set, please. Three selections from the Great American Songbook.